Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's take a look and see how three-phase systems and three-phase power distribution systems or, or electricity distribution methods are used inside the house. So we're going to take a look at some household wiring. All of us have probably seen the power poles that are outside our house with the wires. And every once in a while there's like a, a canister looking thing that's attached to one of those poles that's typically a transformer we call it a step-down transformer that takes the voltage from the lines outside your house on the power poles down to the voltage that we can use inside the house. The voltage on the lines outside vary quite a bit from state to state and from region to region. There's not an absolute uniformity to that. Typically, the voltage on the lines outside could be as much as 7,200 volts or even 12,000 volts or even higher depending upon what state you're in. Typically in Michigan, the voltage can be 13,200, 8,300, or 4,800. In Arkansas, it can be almost 20,000, 7960, or 7,200. And I'm sure there's all kinds of standards in different places. But at the end, when the power lines are, go into the step-down transformer and come out, it's then transformed into a 240-volt three-phase output which means we have two hot wires and one neutral wire. The neutral wire tends to be connected to the ground whenever possible to make the electricity much safer inside your house. Typically, we drive about an eight foot metal post into the ground and it's attached to the middle wire, which is the neutral wire or the ground wire as we call it. And the bar has to be uh, laminated with copper or it can be a solid copper bar if you can find them. Then that, those wires go to your service panel which includes a meter where we can tell how much power you've used how much energy you've used in terms of electricity so you can pay your bill every month and then notice we have three wires coming out of the meter we have the neutral wire and we have the two hot wires each hot wire has a power differential between the neutral and the hot of 120 volts notice it's a step of 120 volts to this wire and a step up of 120 volts to this wire with a total potential difference between the two hot wires of 240 volts. Now most lights and appliances and so forth in the house only require 120 volts which means we're going to run a bunch of lines into the house various places. Notice that we pull a wire from the neutral and a wire from one of the hot lines. The potential difference there will be 120 volts. Typically they go through what we call a breaker so that if too much current is drawn from this the breaker will stop the, the uh, transmissions of electricity and therefore no more power can be pulled off of that. So there's a safety mechanism called a breaker that will stop the current flow in case of the, the power draw being higher than is recommended for that particular line. Typically that's about 15 or 20 amps in most houses. Notice that for we, we're not going to run a single line throughout your entire house. We're going to run a bunch of lines to the various rooms and various places in your house. So we just pull, keep pulling 120 volts off from the hot wire and the ground wire. We can do it from this hot wire and this ground wire or this hot wire and this ground wire. In each, in each case, we have a 120 volt differential and most lines in your house will be set at 120 volts. Now some appliances like the electric stove or the electric range or, or the electric dryer will require 240 volts to operate. To get that voltage we draw a line from the hot wire here and the hot wire there where the difference between the two will be a total of 240 volts. And so that's how we can provide 240 volts to the appliances that require that kind of voltage. The greater the voltage, the greater the power you can distribute to that particular appliance and hot like electric stoves and electric drivers do require quite a bit of power and you can typically not provide that when you only have 120 volts going to those particular appliances. So the whole idea is on the street we have something around 7 to 10,000 to 20,000 volts depending upon where you are in the country. Notice that it then steps down through a transformer to 240 volts, a three-phase output. The three phases require three wires, a neutral, two hot wires, they differ by 120 volts from the neutral to the hot in either direction so that the difference between the two hot wires is 240 volts and the neutral is typically connected to ground right outside your house with a big metal bar going into the ground. And then typically in different places inside your house, the neutral wire may also be connected to ground when required. So notice that we show only the two wires right here, but typically there's a third wire going to the neutral and we'll show you, show you that in more detail in the later videos. 
but that's how we get a better idea how the three-phase system is used in your house to provide the 120 and the 240 volts. We'll see you on the next videos to give you a little bit more detail on all that. That's how it's done.